So what we're going to do is look at the, the next method, and that's uh, Adams' method. And this is very, very similar to Jefferson's. Um, we're going to always try to find the correct divisor and then um, just modified divisors and things like that. But in this case, we do it a slightly different. So basically, Adams' method, like I said, it starts out sounding like Jefferson's. You have to pick a right divisor. You have to find the right number. You divide that population to get a modified quota. Except the only difference here is instead of giving it the lower quota, you give it the upper quota. All right, the upper modified quota. So everything gets to round up to the next thing. Now, remember in Jefferson's, if the standard divisor was like a thousand, Jefferson's method would cause you to pick a number which is lower than that. Well, Adams' method is the opposite. Adams, you pick a number that's higher than a thousand. You know, I'm just picking one at random right there, but maybe 1,025, okay? So the divisors that you pick are going to be higher than the standard divisors in this case. So let's take our, our, our trusty example one here. And population is 100,000. We want 100 representatives. We had the standard divisor, which was 1,000. So what I want you to do, well, you know what? Let's do uh, let's do this uh, to, or I'll do this for you right now. Let's try to find a divisor that works. Okay, so start by picking a divisor. Let's just say one thousand twenty-five. Okay, and then you take every single entry. And divide it by 1,025. Now this takes a little bit of time, so as I type this into the calculator, um, I'm going to push pause, and then I'm going to come back and uh, do all of these numbers at once. All right, so you can push pause on the video and then come back and do your division, get your modified quotas. All right, so with 1,025, I got. 37.4, 20.7. Again, I'm only rounding to one decimal place because, you know, I really don't have to compare the quotas in this case. I'm going to round everything up. 9, 14.7. Actually, 8. So the number of representatives for each district, I would have gotten 38, 20, 5, 20, um, excuse me, did I say 20 in that first one, second one? That should have been a 21, I apologize for that. Um, 38, 21, 5, 20, and 15. you got to catch myself when I do those kind of things. So if I think about that, so take 38 plus 21 plus 5 plus 20 plus 15, that gives me 99. So that was close, but not exactly what I wanted, okay? Um, now, again, standard divisors for our modified quota, the upper quota is always going to give us too many representatives um, with the standard divisor. Here, um, the divisor of 1,025 gave us too few representatives, all right? That's how many representatives we had there. So basically what I'm saying is let's try something that's slightly less than 1,025. So maybe instead of choosing 1,025, I choose 1,020. Oops. 1,020. And again, I'm going to push pause, do my calculation, and come back. So when I did my uh, 1,020, what I got for all these modified quotas was 37.6, that's 37.6, uh, 20.8. 
I got 4.8. I got 20.005. So just over 20. And I got 14.8. So, number of representatives would have been 38 here. 21. 5. This rounds up to 21. And this thing rounds up to 15. And... The total number of representatives that I would have gotten, I can't erase that for some reason, uh, would have been 38 plus 21 plus 5 plus 21 plus 15, and that adds up to 100, which is exactly how many representatives I wanted. All right? So using 1,020 would have been the correct divisor here. Okay, gives me the right amount of representatives. All right, so I want you guys to try this one. Try to get the right divisor, um, get the modified quota and number of representatives. Again, we're using Adams method, so you're going to pick a divisor which is bigger than the standard divisor. And just so, again, reference, our population is 10,078. And we want 120 representatives, so 10,078. We want 120 representatives. So your standard divisor was 83.98. So you want to pick a number which is higher than that so that the number of representatives adds up to 120. So try that and... Uh, Again, push pause on the video, try that, and I'll come back and do it. All right, what I did is I, I tried a few uh, divisors, and I kind of had to, uh, to walk up. I thought I was close, and then um, it wasn't as close as I thought. So I tried 85 and got 121 reps, and so I thought, well, maybe I'll just have to you know, up it by just a slight amount. So I tried 86, and it turned out I got 121. So I said, well, let's try to up it again. And I, when I tried 87, I got the right numbers. I got 120 reps. So the divisor that I would have picked is 87. And my modified quotas, I got 30.3. Uh, 8.2. 23.1, 44.5, And again, I don't have to, I can round these to one decimal place because I don't compare, all right? So for instance, in this case, number C and F had the same decimal point, but because of the way I round using Adam's method, I don't worry about that, okay? If you went out three decimal points, if I was in Hamilton's method, that first method, then a point one and a point one tie, you know, you'd have to go out further to, to break a tie. So in this case, no matter what, we're just gonna round up. So number of representatives would be 31, nine, 24, 45, 7, and 4. All right? And it's pretty straightforward that when you add those things up, you get to 120. Okay, 31 plus 9 plus 24 plus uh, 45 plus 7 plus 4 adds up to 120. And so that's the correct. Now, you may have gotten this with a different divisor. I don't know. Maybe 88 still works. Maybe um, 86 and a half works or something like that. But regardless of the divisor you chose, the number of representatives should be 31, 9, 24, 45, 7, and 4. All right? And just like in Jefferson's, uh, we can have quota rule violations with this method as well. I'm not going to, you know, do an example of that. You know, anytime 
uh, we have these divisor methods where we're changing the divisor from the standard divisor, we can have quota rule violations. All right? That should be fairly self-evident that this method, this Adams method where we round up, and the Jefferson's method where we round down can both have kind of the same uh, problems. And the problems that we have are the quota rule violations.